Today we're going to make some assemblage sculptures and this means we're taking bits and pieces of things that we have found and we're going to glue them together into a sculpture. And the thing about a sculpture, it is art that stands up. Art that you can see all the way around it so it's not going to lay flat. And for our assemblage sculpture, we're using wood, just like Louise Nevelson. So every row is gonna have one of these trays. This is our dumpster, and you will have to go dumpster diving for wood. So when you're looking for your wood, you need a piece that's big for a base, because we have to build this on a base. So would I want this for a base, or this one for a base? Probably this one over here. And yes, it lays flat. That's important. And once you have your base, you're getting five other pieces or less. Okay, so that's a total of six pieces of wood or a little less. You cannot have more. All right, and you need to choose your wood pieces quickly so someone else can have a turn. I'll put that back. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then you're done with the tray. It's someone else's turn. Now, before you glue anything, you need to figure out how these are going to go. Because we live on the planet Earth, we have to deal with this thing called gravity. So things cannot stand like this, for example, on your sculpture, because they will fall down. It has to be able to stand on its own or it's not gonna work even when you put the glue on it. Cause your dear art teacher cannot stand here for the next three hours and hold your project like so until the glue is dry. I have other things to do. Okay, so figure out how it can stand by itself. And if you need to turn things around or if the piece you have just really won't work, then switch it out and get a different piece. Just you need to find that out before we put any glue on it. Like, is that gonna stay? Nope. It'll stay that way. I know that one keeps wanting to fall down. There we go. It's like you're, it, it's a balancing act. This will stay. That probably won't. So I'll lay it this direction. Then I have my little bitty square, which nope, I can't put it there. Not gonna work. Can't put it there because it's round. Gotta watch out for the round pieces because you can't glue things to the round parts. They won't stay. They always pop off. That might stay there though. <laughs> it looks kind of like an airplane. Once everything is where you want it, then you kind of have to take it back apart. And a little bit of glue will do. So I'm putting a little line of glue on the bottom. Stick it down and let it dry. A little line of glue where I want this to go. Stick it down little line of glue exactly where it's going to lay and the magical thing is you have to let it dry they're not going to instantly stick so that's why we work you get it built and then you let it sit at your table for a little bit and I will come around and help write names on your sculptures then at cleanup time, I will call you row by row to bring them over to me so they can dry. Okay, so this is day one. Ta-da! I have a sculpture that stands up, and it's made from lots of random pieces of wood. It's an assemblage.